under the Khilafa of the third Khalif Uthman, there were wars. Uh, what happens is Islam expanded. It reached Persia and non-Arabic speaking people start to read Quran. But what happens is there were lots of mistakes because when you learn Arabic, <laughs> You, you know, it not, does not, it takes years before you get to the position where Hamza is. And uh, so people start making mistakes. So Uthman got worried. They came back to him. They said there are those Ajamis. They called them Ajam. Foreigner then was called Ajami. And uh, those like, oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, When you have Ajami, or is a person who is non, a non-Arab at that time. That's what they called the Ajam, non-Arabic speakers. So they are saying, you know, like, just not doing, it's like doing violence to the Quran in terms of, but not that. So what they decided is they decided to collect all the copies that were distributed from, you know, from various collections, and then uh, Uthman also went through the same process as Abu Bakr. How could they do this? Something the Prophet ﷺ didn't do. And then, and then again, it goes through the prayer supplication, asking God for, you know, to guide him. And finally, he made the decision, yes, we will do it. Then he collected again, assigned seven people who were knowledgeable. And then what happened? They went to Hafsa, brought her copy. And from that copy, you have the Quran we have. So that's how it worked out. So that's Jama' al-Quran. And there is a whole uh, chapter or, you know, books about how the Quran was collected. How was it, you know, put together to have this Mus'haf we have here.